people, 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 welcome back to another pre-recorded podcast of the Arsenio Buck Show, man, I am on fire this morning, and I am firing away, but I've got some news, man, so, if you guys haven't tuned into my, of course, my podcast lately, I've been talking to you guys about uh, a potential trip to America coming to a halt, and it just as, I just canceled my trip, now, I'm gonna tell you why I canceled my trip. I want to do what's in the best interest of both my parties. So I want you guys to think about this. Imagine you got a boyfriend or girlfriend, whatever your preference is, okay? This other boyfriend and girl... Wait, hold on. Okay. Here we go. No, 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 wait. Let's mix this up a little bit. Imagine you have a best friend. Your best friend lives on the other side of the planet, right? Stay with me. Stay with me. Your best friend lives on the other side of the planet, and you're contemplating whether or not to go see this person because this best friend probably just a week before, said, hey, you know what? I'm getting serious with a guy. Or your best friend is saying, I'm getting serious with a girl. What, whichever preference it is. Let's just say it's a guy. Okay, for guys, let's do it from a guy's perspective. Your best friend's a girl from college, obviously known him for more than a decade. And she said, hey, I'm getting serious with a guy. He says, hey, I've already invited him to do this and do that. What would you do? Would you reconsider going on this trip? Like, let's just say it's a two-week trip now. It's a two-week trip. Now, you've gone all the way out of your way to go to this, of course, go back home to whatever country or whatever it is uh, on the other side of the planet. But just imagine going there, and the next thing you know, you're like, hey, let's go to a movie. Okay, can I bring my boyfriend? Hey, let's go on the snowboarding trip. Okay, I'm going to bring my boyfriend. You can't have those conversations with your best friend like you used to. Christmas, can't really do anything, you see what I mean, you see where this is going, this could be a relationship destroyer, this could be a friendship destroyer, why, because when you go there, there's going to be that person in between the two of you, now she's already experienced this with another one of her friends, and of course when that friend, <clears throat> let's just say this, this friend by the name of Barbara, Barbara had a boyfriend, Barbara brought that boyfriend along with her to let's say meet my best friend, and as she was trying to talk to Barbara, her boyfriend would always butt in and say things, and you know, would be the center of attention, all that stuff, and it never worked out, next thing you know, Barbara ended up disappearing for a few years, next thing you know, Barbara came back, only to find out that, oh, well, I'm gonna be getting a divorce, why, because, uh, he is this, 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 and that, so this is the thing with friends, it's funny, because your friends, they just end up disappearing. Now, now, I'm not talking about my best friend. I'm talking about friends in general. This girl ended up disappearing. This is how Americans are. I hate to say that. I'm just, tall, I'm just telling you. They disappear with the boyfriend, girlfriend, uh, husband, wife, whatever. But when things get sour, they come calling back to you. Funny how that works, huh? So now she's like, oh, well, she's going to end up moving here. She's going to come here during these months, that, that, this, that. And whatever it is, whatever it is. I just don't want, I want to do what's in the best interest of the both of us, both parties, basically, both her and I, why, because, well, I mean, if it's, if you're saying that he really is very special and whatnot, I don't want to, do, I don't want to come between that, I'm just gonna let you do your thing, hey, it's fine, you be like, hey, our city, I don't know about this trip anymore, he wants to do this and do that, I'm like, hey, man, it's okay, man, I'll go to Sri Lanka in India, or I'll go to Vietnam, it's cool, don't worry about that, it's all good, but the thing is, I don't know, coming from her perspective, I don't know what, how she's going to take it. Honestly, I haven't even had a chat with her. Uh, I did send her a voice message a week ago, and she's on a cruise ship trip right now, and I didn't want to spoil it. And I just said, hey, listen, for the best of both of our interests, I'm just going to retract this trip. And if you are available next year, within the next couple of years, three years, five years, I'll come out there and go see you. It's all good. It's all good. You see what I mean? But hopefully she just, uh, I have a feeling that she probably will take it the wrong way. Uh, just because I didn't really talk to her on FaceTime on the phone and I just literally canceled the trip at my own will. Now, I'm going to tell you why I canceled this goddamn trip. <sighs> my attention units. Basically, things I could be focusing on, I wasn't focusing on in terms of my entrepreneurial stuff. Yeah, I haven't been focusing on a lot of different things like, you know, putting up videos, doing this, doing that, my podcast, reading, all that stuff. Why? Because a lot of things have been blocking that. One has been work, uh, but now it's kind of like, okay, let me just go there, do my thing, but I'm applying to a lot of different places, so that's destined to take its 
I'm going to find some gold one way or another. It's not a needle in a haystack. I'm going to find a big-ass bar of gold, and I'm going to be like, ha-ha, found ya. You know what I mean? Opportunities, guys. You know, stay in focus, because yesterday was a really, really bad day, as I've already told you. And then, of course, there was this trip saying, oh, my God, I'm very indecisive and undecided on whether or not I'm going to go to America. I need to hurry up and make a decision. And honestly, I just know how this trip is going to go. I do. And I don't want to be in, I don't want to jeopardize my friendship with my best friend over something that could have been avoided. You know what I mean? I mean, this is at the very beginning stages of something very, very promising for her. So I'm just going to say, hey, listen, you got it going on. You go out there, you do your thing, you have a great time. And I'm just going to retract this and I'll see you, see you when I see you. That's it. But who knows how she'll take it. And again, it is what it is, but. Going forward, guys. Now, if you're asking yourself, okay, got it, Arsenio, you canceled the trip. You did what's in best interest of them. This probably relates to what I'm going through right now. Hopefully it does. At the same time, what is next? Well, guys, sometimes when you cancel a trip, especially of this magnitude, something unbelievably gorgeous is trying to emerge. Yes, something is trying to emerge in your life. And that's the most beautiful thing about this because when I sit down and think about it and say, oh, man, well, maybe I could go to Colombo. I really, really want to visit Sri Lanka. Go there for a few days and go up to Chennai, India and meet one of my close friends up there. And this is going to make for probably some of the best podcasts and some of the best of everything ever, 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 ever. ever. You know what I mean? So... Again, detours. Detours like this, there's always something trying to emerge. A lot of people believe like, I canceled my trip. I don't know what to do. I think I've done a horrible mistake. No, you've made the right decision. Every decision you make is always the right decision. A lot of people would say, oh, well, sometimes we make wrong decisions. Well, guess what? From those wrong decisions, great things happen, don't they? So it's always the right decision. (sighs) So. What is it that I'm going to do towards the end of New Year's? Well, it's looking towards, you know, probably going to either Ho Chi Minh City, worst case scenario. Hate to really say that. Not really trying to put out, you know, some of my friends there like that. But again, I got Ho Chi Minh City or I got Hanoi. Those are my worst case scenarios. No, and it's funny. You're like, oh my God, that's the worst case scenario going to Vietnam. Yeah. Uh, Best case scenario, got to visit my Sri Lankans, man. I don't know why, but I just feel Colombo is wonderful. So many people have said so many wonderful things about Colombo and then I could shoot straight over to Chennai and maybe another one of my friends who live in Bangalore could come visit me I'm excited I'm excited I don't feel bad hopefully my friend doesn't take this the wrong way um but at the same time I mean of course it's the one I'm the one who actually booked the $1,500 plane tickets uh the couple of tickets that I had to book and whatnot and I just have to do what's in the best interest of me uh, because I'm actually the one going all the way out there. And if I feel that it's not going to be a 100% trip and it's going to be probably a 20 to 30% trip, I'm not going to do it because why go all the way back to America and, you know, jeopardize a wonderful, but the best friendship I've ever had in my life when I could just go to Sri Lanka, uh, in India and not jeopardize it. You know what I mean? And build something, build something beautiful. Oh, I think it's going to be a wonderful time. So now it's time to start wrapping my head around that itinerary and start firing things off. So with that being said, people, I really wanted to just make a podcast on this because I've been egging over it just so long and I just had to just come to my senses and say, okay, okay, that's it. I can't do this. I'm going to have to block this out. I'm going to have to just basically cancel this trip and go from there. So I really wanted to tell you guys about that because I think it, it could probably resonate with a lot of you guys. Um, and in terms of making decisions going forth in your life, you want to do what's the best for both parties. And of course you want to, again, use those skills that you've acquired over all of these podcasts in terms of, you know, how to influence people and how to say, you know what, Hey, this is all about, you know, not, not saying it's from a selfish perspective, but of course I'm doing what's best for both of us. Uh, I could just come see you any other time. Um, if you have a, if he ends up becoming a boyfriend, ends up becoming a husband and all that. If you want me to be the best man, I will, all that stuff, but I don't want you to take this personally. If you're really looking forward to me going there and whatnot, but the thing is with her having a hectic schedule in the hospital and stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? These are things that we have to think of. You know, I don't want to just be a stay-at-home person 
What? What? Why would I just go travel all the way back home to America to stay home when I could be taking a goddamn motorcycle up a hill to a beautiful monument in Colombo? You see what I mean? What would you guys do? Boom. See, you've already answered your question. You guys would be like, hey, I would do the same thing. So stay tuned for more about what's going to happen. Of course, this is going to be on my little bit of a travel podcast thing. So speaker.com slash user slash the Arsenio Buck Show. I think there's a few different channels on there. So I'm going to fire this bad boy off on there. So if you guys want to tune into that, you can. And uh, oh, boy. Speaking of which, this is going to be very, you know what, since we're doing this live, this is going to be an ugly one, okay, because, oh, I'm sorry, not doing this live, but I actually just got a message from Elisa, (sighs) and she's probably not happy and thrilled about this whatsoever, so here we go, I'm going to check this out right now, uh, so of course, there goes my voice, and and so yeah it's oh man yeah so it's 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 uh, again it's pretty it, it well the thing is it doesn't really matter uh, to a certain extent i just read her comment and she's like it's a damn shame you had to take the social media to make no 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 not to a certain extent i wanted to do this out of the best so people can actually learn from it you know what i mean and of course, considering she said that, you know, I'm out in the Atlantic Ocean. I haven't been able to, you know, to do this and do that. At the end of the day, social media, this, that, it doesn't really matter. What matters is what's going to happen at hand. And what, what's going to happen is I'm going to get there and I'm going to be kind of a stay at home body. And I'm not going to be able to do this and that and this and that. You know what I mean? And I mean, I'm not going to say it's a shame and I have no regrets in doing this and whatnot. But at the end of the day, we are, I already know what's going to happen. So I've already made my decision in terms of, hey, you know what? But why, why go when this could ultimately be the deciding factor and whether or not we're going to remain friends? And she probably is a little bit upset in terms of taking to social media and talk about that, you know, talking about this, et cetera, et cetera. Again, she probably won't talk to me for the remainder of the year. And again, there's nothing I can do about that. But at the same time, got to really focus, man. Got to do what's best for you. So with that being said, it's crazy because you guys got that real time. You guys are listening to this right now, but I got the comment from her. And again, it is probably not i wouldn't say it's not the best decision not taking a social media to talk about this no no i believe that people can learn from this too uh and i did this in such an approachable way that you cannot actually criticize this you know what i mean so again i really wanted to just pinpoint and show you guys how you can make decisions and especially big decisions i'm talking about 1500 hundred dollar decisions and i'm talking about decisions that can ultimately dis- you know jeopardize one of your best friendships. Now, of course, she's angry now. And she's going to be angry probably for the rest of the year. By all means, she's going to be angry. It is what it is. There's nothing I could do to change any, any of that. However, if I had gone there and things would have ended up being the way they were, it would have terminated the friendship. So it's either Elisa stay angry for three to six months now. Best friend Elisa, love her to death. Stay, but you know, she's going to be a little bit upset with a lot of different things set in stone with my decision and whatnot, as she said, or literally terminate the friendship upon, you know, the new year. Don't want to do that because she is my best friend. So huh, it is what it is, guys. I mean, she and again, this is and I'm going to repeat it as I've already repeated a thousand times. Best interest of what for both parties. So with that being said, guys, just wanted to throw that out there. And again. Thanks for, obviously, I guess, tuning in to somewhat of a little bit of a dilapidated podcast, but (sighs) I really want to talk about this because this is probably what's been holding back a lot of my attention units and whatnot. Um, uh, Yeah, attention units in terms of what I should do and whatnot, and again, if things change, things change. If they don't change, hey, maybe we'll be able to do a couple of things, you know, going forward, but again, I hope you guys learned from this. And until then, guys, stay tuned for my next podcast. Over and out.